Now, listen, you guys, looking at Twitter has had me excited, of course, but at the same time, it really is getting me emotional. I'm not going to lie, look, you guys, like literally thinking about this entire thing, it has gotten me in my feels because watching all this unfold, for me, whew, you guys... <laughs> Anyway, we're going to be talking about Gig City, um, you know, in this video. We're going to be talking about all the celebrities and the brands that have also decided to hop onto this, um, you know, trending city of Nicki Minaj and the Bubs. And uh, we're also going to be talking about JT checking fans who were trying to come for her. And Skylip is out there trying to be Nicki Minaj. I don't know exactly what's happening with her. And now these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing amazing and uh without further ado let us dive straight into today's team so first of all you guys we are going to be talking about gig city yeah i myself am getting ready to land in gig city and it's a good thing that you know what we're landing on a friday you know what that means i'm just gonna be having my earphones plugged in throughout the whole day okay at work like I cannot even wait, you guys. I can't imagine um, the days here. I literally can't, can't even imagine that. So let me know, you guys, what are you doing in preparation to land at Gig City? Now, anyway, you guys, talking about the Twitter trend Gig City, first of all, it's making me emotional. Like, um, looking at it, looking at how people are being receptive at it, looking at how effortless it has been for it to trend, looking at how everybody wants to be associated with Gig City really is getting me in my emotional in you know zone or whatever because for me it's the album is not just an album you guys for me the album is a symbol it is a symbol of survival you guys it's it's a mark of survival it's for me it's proof that you know there's nothing god cannot do that like literally the whole world can be against you but when god is not done with you look at me turning into a preacher but you guys it has gotten me in my feels because this is a woman who has been against everyone like literally well, everyone has been against her, the whole industry, like a war S train was launched against this woman. And to see this moment, to see every brand, to see every artist wanting to attach their names to this woman. When she hasn't done the most to gain that support, when she has remained true to who she is, to me, it's bigger than just a trend. I, I don't know if I'm making any sense, you guys. Because this all stems from genuine support from fans who genuinely love per a person for who she is. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's the thing with Bubs. They genuinely love, love Nicki Minaj for who she is as an artist, as a person. Like, it's an all-round thing. The Bubs are a community. They are not just a fan base. And I remember in one of Nicki Minaj's interviews, she said that she looks at the Bubs and the fans as a family. And I guess, you know, the interactions that they constantly have, the genuine communication, you guys, that they constantly have is what has led to this moment, which is such an iconic moment, um, you know, in the music industry. Tell me another fan base who has had um you know something like this happening who has launched an imaginary city uh, you know where the album is going to be played where the album is going to be launched please tell me one fan base who has done that and tell me one fan base who has succeeded into pulling major brands like this into something like this honestly speaking heads off to you bubs like you guys you got me in my feelings i'm not even gonna lie like for me it's it's also like this is why i say that Nicki Minaj's music and her entire way of doing things and her survival story for me that's what draws me even more to her do you understand what i'm saying because when i look at things like this i'm like if she could survive such an age train no matter what adversity that i faced in my entire life I tell myself that, you know what, if God could see her through something as massive as this. Guys, it's not easy having, oh my goodness, I'm having, whew, 
But anyway, let me gather myself together, you guys, and let us talk about um, all the celebrities and brands that decided to hop onto the Gig City trend. So first of all, we're going to start by Spotify. Spotify changed their location to Gig City, you guys. And they even said, calling all bubs, a new sound town just dropped. Oh, my goodness. Hashtag Gig City. And <laughs> this is all coming from nobody wants to be left out. Of course, Spotify wants bubs to come and stream, um, you know, Gig City, oh, not me calling the album Gig City <laughs> to stream Pink Friday, uh, you know, on their own platform. So, of course, they have to hop on the trend. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's with Nicki Minaj, she doesn't go to brands like that. Brands are drawn to her because of the amount of true support that she that they know she has from the fans. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, um, well, it also seems like Netflix decided to also join the trend and they said, um, they put a, a whole pink emoji. <laughs> And uh, people were like, oh, welcome to Gag City Netflix. And at the same time, Bing is out there updating even their cover saying next stop Friday. And then <laughs> with the bub emoticon, you guys. And they also posted an AI image of their own version of the Gag City. And KFC is out there uh, basically saying telling the bums uh, to, you know, to DM them after they had shared an, em an emoji of what KFC in Gag City would look like. And you guys, apart from the bar, uh, from the brands, it seems like every other person really wants to be attached to Gag City. And not that I'm complaining. I mean, I love all the support because I know that oh, well, they genuinely deserve it, okay? The, the bums really, they are genius for this. And to think that this that there was no money put into this amount of um, you know marketing, it's just genius support and love you guys that's what makes me even more excited this is in the highest level of marketing geniusness is there such a word as geniusness but anyway gig <laughs> Anyway, you guys, uh, so honestly speaking, some celebrities were coming in here, you guys. Um, it seems like like Republic was also joining in, uh, you know, on Gag City. Not that I'm surprised. It seems like every other hip-hop, proper hip-hop news outlet is out there, um, you know, attaching themselves to get Gag City as well. Uh, celebrities, female rappers, you guys, are out here basically also attaching themselves to Gag City. Now, one person who I saw uh, who hopped on the trend way earlier than everybody else is JT. JT was also out here, uh, you know, talking about uh, you know, lending in Gag City and things like that. Complex Music, I saw it, you guys. They said, book my flight to Gag City. Hashtag Pink Friday 2. And Spotify, Spotify is literally doing the most. I'm just like, okay, you might as well just tell us that you're a bab. Whoever is running the Spotify uh, Twitter page today, I'm sure they're a bab or something because they are in literally multiple comment sections, you guys, that are talking about Gag City, talking about, um, you know, where are you? So when Complex posted about, um, you know, obviously uh, Gag City, about booking their flight to, to Gag City, Spotify was in their comment section. And they said, see you there, bestie. And then the co Complex Music said, pick me up from the airport. <laughs> And I was just like, oh my goodness, this is wild, you guys. The internet, like, when you open your Twitter, it's literally Gag City, Gag City, Gag City. And I know for all the other girls who acted up, they're out there wishing they could participate in the fun. Because uh, music aside, you guys, the Babs is a fan base. Let's not lie to each other. It's a fun place to be. Just yesterday, I was telling you about the mother funeral. <laughs> If that is not funny, I don't know what is, you guys. Honestly speaking, being a bub in itself, I feel like it's the feeling, it's the excitement, like the, the genuine support. Do you understand? It's different from people who are coming together because of their dislike for someone to support someone. That's where the difference is. Do you understand? When bubs came together, when Nicki Minaj, came, uh, you know, um, facilitated the creation of this fan base. It was not to go against anyone. It was to genuinely have fun. And they have been doing fan they they have been doing just that for the past you know what over a decade and i guess that what sets bubs apart from the other supporters that these female rappers have because i mean the transformers fan base we all know that well these are people who dislike Nicki minaj who came together so no matter how much you come together on the basis of disliking someone you will not just get along because just because you dislike the same person of course you may fake it but at the end of the day it's not as genuine as and there's 100 as this. And by the way, when you see other fan bases are starting to do something like this, just remember who started it. 
that's all I'm going to say, okay? So let me know, you guys, in the comment section what you think about that. Now, one person who's not playing about Gig City is none other than Tiger. Tiger is out there wanting to set up Rec City in Gig City. And when I saw that, I was just like, oh, yes, go, go, Tiger. One thing about Tiger is, of course, he will support Nicki Minaj. I also did see Ivorian Doe letting us know that while well, she is late and she just performed at Gig City and the bugs were really going in crazy when it comes to um you know coming up with ideas of what Rex City and Gag City would look like and I also did see Aya you guys Aya was out here also supporting she's one of the earliest people who were out supporting um you know Gag City and I did see Amazon Music I mean who wants to be left out you guys Amazon Music was like oh well about to book a trip to Gag City as we speak and this was in response to Nicki Minaj's tweet and I love love to see all of this unfolding London Hill was going in okay crazy uh in as far as gig city is concerned young devin was out there everybody wants to be attached to gig city like who doesn't want to be attached to this amount of greatness you guys and i do not blame all these people and i cannot wait for friday you guys i literally cannot wait for friday and it's isn't it funny you guys that after all um you know the theatrics the antics and everything the internet decided to pay dust to all girl okay this time it didn't work this time people are focused on gig city and um yeah this this is beautiful you guys this <laughs> this is literally beautiful to watch and as a fan honestly yeah i'm i'm happy to see this i did also see ibro saying that oh well oh we up when somebody had tweeted something about Apple Music is at Gag City. Um, yeah, so let me know, you guys, what you think about Gag City. Let me know how are you preparing for Gag City. Are you ready, uh, you know, for Gag City? What exactly is up, um, you know, in your world? Are you excited? Personally, I am now not jittery. Like, the feeling that I have now. Like, I'm not jittery anymore. I'm not like, oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm now emotional. <laughs> isn't it funny you guys like i'm literally now emotional like if i scroll through twitter a little bit the next thing i'm hearing myself cry the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about you guys um although i feel like it's now less relevant <laughs> scarlip um was out here being called out for copying Nicki minaj like she was out here copying Nicki minaj's lyrics w <laughs> bar by bar word for word you guys and it seems like people were not feeling it and up to now i don't understand how um you're out here talking about you know the transformer is your inspiration and you're shading Nicki minaj and you're coming out with um you know Nicki minaj's uh, bars and you're posting them on your on your instagram i don't know what that was about is it that she deliberately did it and she was trying to attach herself to Nicki minaj or what exactly is going on with her i don't understand but at this point yeah, she should just gag, okay? We have more important things to worry about, all right? The next thing that we're going to be talking about, JT was out here, um, you know, um, going back and forth with a certain person who was accusing them of being scams uh, because according to them, um, they had spoken about, um, you know, being a city girl, meaning, meaning the first life and stuff like that. And so this person said, the city girl lifestyle is so dead. I just want one solid person to love me, help me grow um, and help me grow and grow with me and jt said it ain't that you guys are just bent and then um another person said she was saying she wants she wants a relationship they f you on and then um jt said so just say you want a relationship what does city girl have to do with that and another person saying um <clears throat> said law how law you're proving a point and she said now you're gonna tell me what a city girl is okay and jt then said her definition of a city girl's of a city girl is surviving okay and she was out there um breaking that she's a scammer <laughs> JT is really not the one or the two because this person really tried to shame her, um, you know, for growing, for her growth. And she said, you know what, I'm a scammer and I just scammed you. And I really was rolling on the floor. I was like, JT is just in another planet, if we're going to be honest. So, yeah, let me know, you guys, what you think about that in the comment section. And uh, guess what, you guys? Um, guess who's not seeing Gag City, you guys? It's Kyle. Kyle is not seeing Gag City. Like, Nick, if Nicki Minaj tweets something um, that he feels like is going to be negative in the comment section, of course, Kyle will run and post it at the neighborhood talk. But right now, he is certainly blind to Gag City. He's not seeing a thing. 
I did even see the shade rooms, um, you know, the shade room having a post on Twitter about Geek City. But Carl, mm -mm. of course, if he does post that, he will get in trouble with his master. And I totally understand him. But at this point, nobody is going to do anything about Geek City. Not him, not his master, not his master's voodoo. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're not going to be do, able to do anything. But you guys, let me know in the comment section. Are you prepared? Are you ready? What are the emotions that you're going through right now? Personally, I told you I am in my feels. Like literally in my feels. It doesn't even make sense because I'm supposed to be excited. I am excited, but then I'm, I see myself crying all the time because it's such a full circle moment. And meanwhile, Nicki Minaj is out there minding a business and not doing the most on Twitter. Um, The bombs are carrying the trend themselves. And yeah, heads off to you bombs. That was very genius of you to do. And um, until my next one, you guys, see you.